Hey, what's up, guys? This is Tom Tony, and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a slightly old vintage transformer to show you. This is a transformer Beast War Neo VS34 Randy from the old Beast War. He's actually doesn't. I don't remember seeing him in the original Beast War cartoon, but he appears in the Beast War anime of the Japan. So now this is a brand new figure that I just got in this state, which is like brand new. So I'm, I'm now gonna I'm gonna unboxing him. So here's the box, and at first we got a clear image of the toy, and this is the. 3D rendering image of him and this toy was produced back in 1999 so that is like really old 22 years old and this is the transformation and this is the same I have a bunch of Japanese over here and which the printing has been faded because of times and everything and here we have him with some other figures and they are on two sides as you see this is Maximus and Predacon so over here red and purple we all know that so now let's crack the box open and see what is inside and first we have a bunch of manuals and we have a car This is the card, show his stats and an image, I'm gonna throw it away right away. And a bunch of other Japanese stuff I don't really care about. And this is a bunch of other promotion back in back in like 22 years ago. So I don't think that they will be worth mentioning by now anymore. But I'll give you guys a glimpse of what we got in here. And here we have the instruction. And this, we have like five steps of transformation over this guy. So let's make this quick. So now here we have this Randy in his. He is actually a. Uh, in his. Worth Hawk Moth. So this is a hawk, but it is, it, 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 it is like angry hawk. Okay, so here we have him. And for uh, FYI, this guy has a really call of the Razor Beast, and he suffers from the gold plastic syndrome, which is a term of described use for transformer toys that crumble even they are fresh out of their package. And to explain for this reason is that the plastic they use for this guy is mixed with some metallic paint in this case bronze color paint so as a matter of fact as a result the quality of the plastic itself got crunch after times and it is easier to break other than the other toys so that is why nowadays you see less transformer toys using this technique but rather they would just have they would just paint it so we have a rubber band here i'm gonna remove it and this is his alternate mode which is a hole a hawk. This is a wrath hawk. You got some. Uh, you got the main color, the bronze color, and this is the reason that he, he is really easy to be cracked. And you got a painted orange eyes and some brown hairs on it. The paws are just. This is a white teeth, and the paws are just gray plastic. And you got a white tail as well. And I enjoy the texture. I think that from this guy they invented the texture. They got to use all the other Beast War toys later on. Yeah, I'm gonna show you this because of that gold plastic syndrome. I just got this guy under see There's a crack on his thigh right here. Which is the point of like, this is like a really bad thing to do with transformer, you know. Don't, please don't, just don't mix up the pin and the plastic, please. And to be honest with you guys, when I first saw this guy and, and when I actually have this guy 20, 22 years later, I feel like this guy's really rock sharp alike. And if, if you look at this, this is like really alike over here. And <clears throat> you got the feels and everything, the, tra the transform mechanism. It just feels like Rat Trap. And I want to bring in Rat Trap now for you to compare. Here we have Rat Trap. And actually, I'm going to bring in two versions of Rat Trap. So here we have also the Kingdom version. And I prefer the scale with the Kingdom version better. The generation is kind of big, in my opinion. And of course, here we have him with Kingdom Primal. I think the scale here looks better than to compare with the generation versions. For so for transformation, this guy has, has some really interesting gimmick. I'm gonna show you. So first up, you take this, to remove it. That is actually gonna become the weapon. 
and you see this tire section here just rotate it and you see the crack there's a crack right there this is really delicate so if somehow you can manage to find a toy like this at this time please be careful so rotate the th leg like that do be careful with all the leg section please There we go, and now we got a flying hawk. Bring this section out, split them out like that, and now you're just gonna. <coughs> so you see the tail here? The tail is actually really. This is really interesting. So you're actually gonna flip up the tail. And as you flip up the tail, this whole section, the leg and the chest and the entire body just being pulled out. This is really interesting. To prevent from mistransforming into alternate mode, there you see this, this pin over here, it's gonna hold it. So there level it doesn't move at all <coughs> just like that there we go so here we have him fully transformed and I must say this guy feels like rat trap you know I mean like the transformation is really simple and yet it is dedicated to a toy transformation so talking a little bit about the color scheme of this guy this guy color scheme makes me feel like he takes the idea from a very muscular figures of the past you know with the all the white thighs and white muscle part and you got some brown boots and brown gloves on it he feels really muscular feels like he's wearing a leather suit although i really really hate that idea but i mean like i enjoy this color scheme the color scheme works and one more thing is we'll be focusing on the face i absolutely enjoy his face sculpt his head sculpt is really nice and his face sculpt is just the perfect capture of this guy appearance in the anime you got some really nice beast war details like the mouth like details and you got the painted orange eyes the painted silver silhouette and also i don't know it just makes me feel really nice and the arms and leg at this time of the transformer year they don't have that many details or anything the only thing that nice about this guy is will be the transformation gimmick other than that this is a pretty easy toy and like it is an I would say it is a somewhat of an anniversary toys that for those of you want to finish entirely your Japanese Beast War collection so you might want to try to try and find this guy other than that it's just it he doesn't really have anything too special to talk about okay so here we have Randy versus the Kingdom Red Trap and you may look you may see a lot of similarities the first thing it will be the backpack they are really much alike and also the leg design as well you can see this they use they chose a ball joint for the knee joint and one thing i really enjoy is that they both have separate shoulder joint towards the torso and to me this is a really nice features as well so you can say that the kingdom rat trap actually learned from randy over here to develop this figure because they also got some a lot of similarities as i find when i'm hand handling them as well so the only accessories that he came with will be his blaster which is the hot hair section so you just unfold and become a blaster and it is just you see a lot of details inside which is totally unnecessary but they did it anyway so to apply it you just want to plug it right onto his hand like that and now he got a what a very kind of dumb blaster i enjoyed the idea but not the execution and it can also be stored here just like in the hedge mode so that is pretty neat weapon storage so now let's moving on to articulation so for the articulation first we got with the head and it barely can move up and down like that and you can do a full rotation and we're next up with the shoulder joint so we can swing out like that you can do a full rota rotation because got blocked by the backpack and he got no bicep swivel and he got a ball joint and it can also be count as a swivel as well so he got a 90 degrees elbow bend and no hand articulation at all he got no waist articulation due to the, the gimmick so his leg can do a kick and this on the ball joint so it is really nice though and he can this is also on the ball joint i love ball joint this guy so that is just it I mean like for the time, it is a decent toy. He got a nice transforming gimmick and that is about it. He suffered from the gold syndrome, plastic syndrome or something like that. And so I really hope that the upcoming generation toy is gonna retool this guy onto a rat trap form. That would be really nice. And if you want to collect him, I would really like advise you to think about it. Would you want this guy? If you are a really hardcore Japanese beast fan, then, then please get this guy. 
If you're not, then you don't necessarily have to because this guy doesn't appear on the US version. And I mean, like, I got, I got this guy like ages ago, and I only remember, and only, I, I only found out about him just recently, so I made this video. So that could be it for today. Thanks for watching, and tell me what you think about Randy over here. And if you're new to the, to the channel, just uh, please subscribe and share this video, and also follow me on Instagram. That is where I do most of my updates. And finally, if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link will be in the description below. Talk to now.